Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be making a little bit of a shift in the fallacies we're looking at. We're going to move on from informal logic fallacies to fallacies of categorical logic. And these fallacies are going to match up nicely with the videos we are doing over with the 100 Days of Logic. Today we're going to be looking at the illicit conversion fallacy. If you haven't checked out my video on the 100 Days of Logic on conversion in general, you should check that out because I'm going to be using a lot of those ideas and concepts here. So, as we learned on that video, conversion is allowed for E and I statements, but it's going to be a fallacy if you try it for A and O statements. Let's see why. We remember conversion is just switching the subject and the predicate of a categorical statement. So with an A statement, we would be going from all S R P to the statement all P R S. Just looking at the Venn diagrams, it should be pretty clear why this is going to be a fallacy. They do not resemble each other. They're in fact telling us different things about the world. And thinking about it in an example, if we said all dogs are mammals, it doesn't follow that all mammals are dogs. This is also going to be a fallacy when we try it for O statements. Some S are not P, some P are not S. Clearly, once again, the diagrams are different. The X is in a different place. If we map those diagrams onto each other, they wouldn't match. So this is going to be an example of the illicit conversion fallacy. That was illicit conversion, also today's conversion, as I said. Yesterday was fallacy of division and the modern square of opposition. Tomorrow is going to be illicit contraposition and contraposition. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.